The Moment of Truth with Kurt Wells. Brought to you by Ram Trucks. Built to serve. The debate over light versus heavy arrows rages on. Is a light fast arrow better than a heavy slow arrow? Well, I've spent years at both ends of the spectrum and I have concluded that the best answer is somewhere in the middle. I'm done going back and forth, so I plan to hunt with a mid-range arrow that's straight, tough, and flies well. And this Easton Axis 5mm arrow gives me all that. A slim diameter shaft with a 260 spine that weighs 11.5 grains per inch now comes with factory helical fletching for superb flight. Before I get to my arrow build, I must address the trend toward heavy front of center balance of 13 to 20% and more. To be honest, I haven't seen a real world evidence that the extra effort makes a difference. Total arrow weight, broadhead design, and shot placement are the overriding factors. These axis arrows come with an 18 grain hit insert, but other options include the half out aluminum insert at 25 grains, or the stainless steel version at 75 grains. I'm going with the half out inserts for their strength and because I like the taper from the broadhead ferrule to the smaller diameter shaft. This reduces frictional drag, especially when penetrating a scapula. So I have two choices. The aluminum inserts and a 100 grain broadhead will give me a middle of the road 486 grain arrow. But I use Boning's Cool Flex glue for the inserts. So if I end up hunting extra large game, I can heat a field point in the insert, remove it, and install the stainless steel inserts, bringing me up to a heftier 536 grains. In the 80s, we didn't even know what our arrows weighed, and we didn't care. The thing is, we never know whether we're going to need a fast arrow or a heavy one. Since we can't have both, middle of the road seems logical and lethal.